Norfolk's Queen of Knitting Margaret Seaman took eight months to knit the model of His Majesty's main residence, and lost count of how many balls of wool she used, estimating at least 100. The great-great-grandmother has even included the palace's ornate black and gold gate and stony red forecourt, where the daily changing of the guards takes place, complete with knitted palace guards, guard houses and tourists just outside the property. The model is an impressive six foot six inches long and five feet wide. Margaret has gone on to raise over 100,000 pounds for charities through her craft and now gets stopped on the street because of her new celebrity status. In 2019, Margaret rose in fame after completing a copy of another royal estate a Sandringham Palace, which was later purchased by real Sandringham House. She recalls her memories of meeting the Queen. We were at Sandringham, my daughter and I were there setting the knitted Sandringham up in their ballroom for display for the summer. We were quite locked in and didn't expect anyone to be there. And I was looking in a box and some sh lady walked up, stood there, and I thought, it's not my daughter's shoes, whose is that? And I looked up, got to her face, and that's when I saw it was the Queen, and she was right close to me. And I just said, oh, hello. <laughs> I was so shocked. And she said, hello, and smiled as much as how I caught you, didn't I? And she certainly did catch me. That was most unexpected. But it was absolutely lovely, and it was a highlight of my life. <laughs>